welcome back. Thanks to everybody for watching. This is season three, episode two with Innocent. I brought her on here so we could like spread her out. She does music. I wanted to put her on my platform and give her an opportunity. Introduce yourself, tell them where you're from and stuff. My name is Innocent. I'm from Long Beach, California. Long Beach, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Long Beach. Yeah. Yeah, what part of Long Beach? What side? I'm from East Side, Long Beach. And how long have you been doing music? Um, I just started, like, 2022. Rapping, R&B style? How, what's mm. your style like? Yeah, I make, I like freestyle. Oh, yeah? yeah. You got to give him my boy Parkside <laughs> Demon over here and put something together. He's making Let, music all the it. time. We let's make it. it happen. That's the best thing I tell everybody. Your network is your net worth. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, the more people you meet and the more you expand. That's why I was like, yeah, let's come on, bring you on here. Because I always, I see you out there. So how I met her was, um, let's see, was it Saturday night? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Sat Saturday night, we, after the cruise over here in Long Beach, we went over to Wilmington and I saw her in the parking lot and there was a guy on a bike like falling <laughs> around, grabbing at yeah. her and leave, wouldn't leave her alone. So I saw it, so I peeped the game, so I was just like, hey, you know, I'm not trying to hit on you, I got a wife, but you can come over and stand by the lowrider like you're with us, so he'll leave you alone. Yeah, he left me alone. Yeah, that's, good. <laughs> that's usually how it is. I mean, you know, people may not see that you're with somebody, you know, I, I'm not personally like that, but there are yeah. people out there that get a little creepy and stuff like that, or just, you know, it's just how it is. It's not necessarily the car culture street people. He had a bicycle, so obviously I don't even think he had a yeah, car. Yeah, that but was it, really creepy. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So then I found out you did music. So have you put anything out? You got anything on yeah, streams? Yeah, I have um, my music's on all platforms. I have an album out called No Handouts. Oh, nice. Um, I like the name. I just released a song with Tay of Third. He's from Long Beach, mm -hmm. too. I just did a song with Go Get a KB. I'm working on something with this rapper named Lil Yee. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, from the area. Uh huh. And I'm working on my new album too. Oh, that's dope. So yeah, you guys check out. And then how do pe how would people find you if they wanted to find you on like say um, YouTube or Instagram? Give them all that yeah. information. So my Instagram, my Instagram name is the Real Top Tier Trophy, and my link in my bio has my music, my YouTube, everything. Takes Where you right to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's your YouTube going so far? Are you getting good views and stuff? Oh, I haven't dropped anything on there yet. Oh, I'm about to drop my first music video. Oh no, you got to get yeah, busy. Yeah, I know. Pump that up. That's why I do this. YouTube has a really good audience. I mean, I have people from Japan, Europe, Germany, all over the UK, all all different states, Oklahoma, Washington, Seattle, Chicago, New York, and it reaches a really far audience. And then it brings really cool people into your life, people that you wouldn't normally see on the street and be like, hey, what's up? You know, you guys would probably pass each other, but through. No, you know, it's crazy at the car show, like literally like people came up to me like, oh, I follow you on Instagram. Like, I, and they started singing my songs. I was like, yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> At, like the uh, at the Long Beach one and then at the Wilmington one. That's I'm like dope. random people I don't know are coming up to me singing my music. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, it feels good and it's it's cool because you start building relationships with people that you wouldn't, and you never know who you meet. I always treat everybody the same. I don't care how you're dressed, what you look like, what race you are, anything. I treat everybody the same until you mm -hmm. give me a reason not to because. Yeah. Some of those people, like I had a guy come over here and he was sweating me on doing a commercial and he didn't, I mean, he didn't dress very nice and I kind of really didn't believe him. Yeah. But actually I saw him on a big shoot and he was real and one night. This can be deceiving. One night he came to here and he snapped a picture on me while I was, of me while I was on my porch. So I jumped up and was like, what's up with the fool? <laughs> he was like, oh, it was just a candid photo, but I treated him kind of raw mm. and uh, we didn't end up working together until later on down the line. I did a Skittles commercial, which never released, but yeah. So that's always treat people a certain way. And I mean, the, taking the picture of me was weird as hell. Yeah, you know I mean? You're gonna treat. Up. Yeah, I was like, what the hell are you doing? Why? You could have just asked for the picture instead of like coming around the corner of my apartment. It could have easily been a gun. We're out here. Right. Right. chilling you know but yeah. uh you know i ended up working with him he was really cool and i apologized to him how i handled but his move was wrong it's still in the yeah, first place he that's kind of creepy him. some people approach the situation wrong like people don't know how to uh really uh communicate themselves very well you know i, I have some people come up to me and they won't set a nice car but the first thing they do is like you have a paint chip right here i'm like oh my god yo bro you're a little too close and Yes, I do have some paint chips. It was painted back when they did the Pac video, so it's been since the 90s. It hasn't been repainted or touched up since then. So yeah, it's not perfect, but I got my flaws. My car has its flaws, and so does everybody else's, you know? Yep. What do you uh, What do you have planned for the future? You were telling me you were just graduating nursing school? Yeah. Come um, on, knock I just, it down. I just, yeah, yeah you good know, job. Excellent. future looking bright. Absolutely, keep that up. Uh, yeah, so I just graduated nursing school. 
Um, I was in school for 13 months. Damn. I just graduated LVN. Um, I plan to start my RN, my BSN RN around June or August. And yeah. you, you were saying you also had a couple side hustles. Oh yeah, I sell eyelashes, I sell makeup, like lip gloss, yeah. That's the best thing I tell everybody. Everyone's like, how do you eat in California? I'm like, you have to have money coming in from everywhere. If you just work, have it coming in from one place, it's never gonna work. You have to get side hustles, your main hustle, oh, yeah. a second hustle. I was um I was also like a dancer. Uh -huh. Yeah. But like now I'm getting to nursing, like that's like out, out the way. Yeah. Did dance your way through nursing school? Yeah, I mean that's how I pay for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, that's, that's how, how you gotta it. do what you gotta do. Ain't no shame in the game. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'll go dance for car parts. <laughs> I always put up the memes all this stuff. I'm like, if y'all see me on Fig out here slanging this D, these old ladies, mind your business. I'm just trying to work right. on the 61. I'm just joking, but it's funny. <laughs> Not Fig. Yeah. So you, you have other friends with Lowrider, family with Lowrider? Yeah, like that? my family. Like, I went with them yesterday on the cruise. Where'd you guys go to? We are in Wilmington. Yeah. There's a couple clubs out of there, Port Side. Uh, we mess with all the, all of us harbor areas are kind of like one unit. Even though we're different neighborhoods when it comes to low riding, we're just all together. We got Pedro, Long yeah, Beach. Yeah, I seen some from Pedro. Yeah. It's funny because it's like everyone's like East Side Long Beach, you know, North Side Long Beach. Long Beach is just Long Beach to me from tip to toe. You yeah. know, like I don't see it any other way. I always think it's weird how people try to divide up their cities, you know. But it's there's a bunch of clubs. We've got uh, our club Plato Plomo. We've got uh, Old School Generation. We've got Let's Ride Car Club. We have. Um, bad boys uh, car club we have long beach car club mm -hmm. we have uh i think it's called our, our style uh, there's there's many high classes up the street on north side you know in the high class cars mm -hmm. do you ever do any modeling with the cars and stuff mm -hmm. like that literally that that uh, first car show we went to on uh, saturday that was my first time being to a car show oh shit well that's because i've been in school for so long right. i haven't gone out well, that's a good way to like extend yourself doing photos with cars and working with different people because then, you know, people learn about you, click on your platform, see you do music, help blow you up, you know. And mm -hmm. I always say like it's best to treat everybody really good because by, by treating somebody good, you make a fan for life. Yeah. You know, like I never act like I'm too busy for people. I don't have time. I answer every message. I mean, people will message me the most random things and I'll still respond to them, you know, best I can. And so if there's hundreds of messages, I'll at least like them and acknowledge them, you know, because I don't want to be that type of person that like feels like, ah, I'm too good for anybody. I'm, I'm never like that. And yeah. when people praise me, I try to tell them, look, I'm just a dude that bought a cool car off Craigslist. <laughs> I swear to God, it was for sale on every platform that they had for selling back in the day. It was like eBay. They had Craigslist. Really? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't even say it was on uh, Auto Trader, lay it low at one time, and nobody wanted it. The comments were like, oh, the school bus or the taxi, but when I saw it, I had this vision. You just felt the vibe, and yeah, yeah you gotta roll with it. Yeah, I did, I, I absolutely did. So I'm trying to do, and I started off on Instagram where I was gonna do a giveaway, and I started giving away tons of stuff all leading up to it. Little did I know it was the first time I've ever done it. Instagram takes 30% off the top, then you have to pay 30% capital gains, so you only walk away with 40% of it, whatever you make anyways. And so I, you I'm, make them direct so Yeah, so I was like, I was still gonna deal with it because I wanna be a man of my word. I was just gonna keep it going, keep it going. But somebody kept reporting me for all different unrelated stuff. Like I put back in LBC, let's do some hood rat shit. Meaning like all my friends pull up and barbecue and hang like yeah. we do. They said gang affiliated and all kinds of stuff. Heck? I'm like, why would you, how would you relate that to that? Like we're talking about barbecuing and low riding and have <laughs> nothing to do with that. Yeah. So what future wise, what are you going to do? You have a job already lined up with the um, hospitals around Yeah. Here? So I'm like, I was a CNA until I graduated nursing school. Um, so I already have a job for me. I'm trying to get into Kaiser. Oh, okay, yeah. that's good. Kaiser permanent. Hey, good. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's real good. And then, what do we, where do you find time to do your music right now? Um, okay, so when I was in nursing school, um, I would usually come after school. I would go to the studio. Okay. Yeah, and then just go record. Any studios around here in yeah, particular? Yeah, I, I go to this one in North Long Beach. Um, they're called Adonada. Okay. Yeah. From Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. From all from all Long Beach area. Yeah, okay. it, it's a studio in North Long Beach. His Instagram's Adam Nada. It's cool. His studio rates high these days. 
I've never rapped or anything like that. I always want to. I like build them in my mind. But hey, you, say, you can you can make a rap if nah, you want to. If, Anyone if, if can I, do it. If I say them, they're horrible. My nephew rap. Shout out to my nephew, little Kian. Go check out him. He's out of Houston. He's got that age down flavor. When I get him out here, I'll get you guys all together. I'll make we're gonna make some stuff happen. I, I'm telling you, the networking is good. It's cool if you're blowing up on the West Coast, but if you can get the boys over there in Houston blow, you know, getting it too, and then it just starts spreading and spreading and spreading. I went to Memphis, Tennessee, out there with them, trying to get my music out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How'd you like Memphis, Tennessee? How'd you like the food in the South? Oh my God, the wings. The wings are like the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. no, they don't have nothing like that out here in We Cali. got big old fat wings, right? But they're not like that. Oh, no, no. no. They're definitely not like that. Mm -hmm. I, there is a soul food spot. If you go down here, go down the hill, mm -hmm. there's a little soul food. Uh, it's a truck. I can't remember. It's like K's or something like that. Canes? K no, K's. Oh. She has oxtail chicken. Get her chicken wings. Her batter is so good. Oh, it's fire. I'm going, I'm back, going back for the oxtail. But, uh, yeah, that's a good one. We got to take a dip in the ride. Yeah, let's go. All right, come on, let's come do on. that. Switches on it? Um, no, they didn't. But the truck I was in, I think you know him. Um, oh, Ernie. Ernie, yeah, yeah I was yeah. in his car. He was my first podcast. Really? Yeah, he's coming out. See, he's the first episode of season three. Yeah, so I I never been in a hopping car, so I went in his car, and then it was going crazy. I was like, oh, this is. I always seen it from outside, but like I never been in it. That kid stays on the switch. Yeah, that was cool. I like Ernie. He actually lives up the street from me. Just across this street, really? straight across, yeah. Dang. Yeah, I had so much fun. I was like, I was scared because I thought we were going to hit the pole. It kept going that way. Uh, I was like, oh my God. He's got it. He's an expert. Some people are like, I don't understand why people put hydraulics on the cars. I'm like, well, I guess you've probably never ridden in one. Hey. I want to get one. I want mine with hydraulics. Hell yeah. I wanted to get, I really wanted to get my kids into it, get my daughter one and my son one, but there's, there's some experiences in the game that I don't really care for and I don't know if I want to subject my kids to it. <laughs> Look, they got an Impala right over there, four door Bel Air. See it? They yeah. Got a, they got a six, looks like a 63 Bel Air four door, if I'm not mistaken. It sure is. Oh, I think that one, I've seen it around. That one has AC and everything, all original. Oh, nice.
everybody. We're wrapping this up. I want to thank you for coming on. Nice meeting you too. Thank you for, for sure. having me. You guys go. She gave you a plug for all of her platforms. We'll see you guys on episode three, season three, on the next one. Catch you guys later. Take it easy. West up. <laughs>